Welcome to Cheap Controls. On this YouTube channel, I make videos on things that I struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. In this tutorial, I want to spend a little time going over the conversion tool. How you just take an integer or a value from the progress bar or this gauge and then display it down here. You use the COV. If I click on the timer, you'll see it down here. And this number at the end here, I wanted to go into a little more detail on that. I'm going to keep the radio button. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete the checkbox. I'm going to put the radio button up here. And I'm going to add a couple of text boxes. I'm going to set them to 100 width and 60 height. That should be good enough to show the data. Now if I go to my timer, I'm going to change this or um, have this line show up three times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put different things in each text box. So this first one's only going to show one digit, the second one will show two, and the third one will show three. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And you can see that when it hits 10, this is going to show, what it does is it always shows the most significant bits or the most significant digits in this case. Sometimes I get used to dealing with binary. And when this gets to 100, this is going to show 10. But what if you wanted to show the least significant bits instead of the most significant bits? What you would do is you would use something called modulus. And modulus just takes the remainder. You'll need a variable for this. If you scroll down here, you can add a variable. And then we'll go back to the timer. And the reason you need a variable is you can't do math in here. Like if I wanted to add 1 to this, if I go to compile it, it's going to give me an error. If I put brackets around this, still will give me an error. If I go to curly braces, it will still give me an error. At least I have not figured out how to do math in the middle of this COV function. So what I do, let's make sure I didn't break it. What I do is right before it, is I just use that variable. So VA 0 dot val. I'll add 1 to it. And then we'll make this show VA 0. Now let's compile it. Make sure I didn't typo. And run it. Now what you'll see is this one is always one ahead of the others. I wanted to show that just so you'll understand why I'm adding this line up here. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to show you the modulus feature using that variable. So VA0, so VA0.val will equal the gauge or the timer that we've been using. Now if you put modulus 10, what it's going to do is it's going to delete everything after the tens place. So you'll just get 0 through 9. Modulus, what it does is it returns the remainder. So it divides whatever that number is by 10 and returns the remainder. You can look that up online if you want to get a little more information, but that's the gist of it. 
And now on this first one, what we're going to show is we're going to show that value. of the variable. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to 1 also so that you can see what I'm talking about. You'll see that this one maintains counting the 1's place, whereas this one's going to show the 10's place. So now we're going to go ahead and do that with the 10's also. We change this back to 2 and just insert another line. We use the value of this variable in this line so we can reassign it after we're done with it. But in this case we're going to use modulus 100. So what it'll do is it will divide that same counter by 100 and show it down here. So it'll count from 0 to 99, then when it's 100 it'll go back to 0 to 99. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse it here so you actually see it change. You saw it there now. Actually, it's showing the wrong um, digits there. It's supposed to be showing 17 and 18. So let's go back and see what we did wrong. Oh, I forgot to move the variable down here. So we'll go ahead and run this again, and I'll put it in time lapse to speed it up. And this time you see that it's working. So by using this modulus operator down here, you can show the least significant bits. If you leave that out, then you can show the most significant bits. So it's just an option to have in there. Plus, it's an introduction to this operator if you haven't seen it before. You can do some research on it, or if you want me to do a video on it, head on over to Cheap Controls. Go to the uh, comments page and just submit it as a request and I'll, I'll go into it a little more detail. Well that's about it for this video. Um, consider subscribing to the channel and, and hitting that bell. Thanks for watching.